one of the most common word problems that you will see that involves the Pythagorean theorem is asking you about putting a ladder against a wall and either the distance from the ground or the distance up the wall. So let's look at this problem. It says Tanya puts the base of a 12 foot ladder five feet from a wall then leans it against the wall. To the nearest foot, how far up the wall will the ladder reach? I highly suggest drawing a diagram so that you can keep track of which number is which. So we have the wall as vertical, we have the ground horizontal, and we have the ladder that's like reaching up the wall. So there's our ladder. Okay, so the first part of this question says that it's a 12 foot ladder. So the ladder itself, we're going to label that 12 feet. We know that it's 5 feet from the wall. So the distance from the wall down here on the ground is 5 feet. And then it asks us to the nearest foot. Now that does make a difference at the end, so we'll look at that. How far up the wall will the ladder reach? So our question mark is, what's that distance where the ladder will reach up that wall there? All right, so now let's make sure we label our A, B, and C. Here's our right angle. We know our C must be the hypotenuse, the longest side. That means our other sides are A and B. So when I plug this into the formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, I'm using 5 for A. I do not know B, so I must have that in my equation. And C is 12. 5 squared is 25. B squared is our unknown, and 12 squared is 144. Now again, I need to isolate my variable. I want this by itself, so I have to undo this adding 25 by subtracting 25 on both sides of the equation. If I were to subtract 25 from, so 14 minus 5 is 9, 1, 119. So I know B. Um, I need to get b by itself. I undo the squaring by square rooting. So I get the square root of 119. Now if you have a calculator, you could just put this into the calculator. If you cannot use a calculator, if it's a test or something, then you can approximate the decimal. So I know that 100 is 10 times 10. So, and this is between 100 and then 121 is 11. Now I know 119 is pretty darn close to 121. So, I mean, it's only three away, oh, excuse me, two away, and the distance from 100 to 121 is 21. So basically two out of 21, it's going to be like right there up next to it. I'd say B is approximately equal to 10.9. So if I were going to approximate this with the decimal, that's what it'd be. But look at the question. Remember we circled to the nearest foot? That means that we actually can just round it to whatever it's closest to. Now I know it's not closest to 10 because 119 is pretty far from 100, but it's really right up there next to um, 11 because the square root of 121 is 11. So the answer to this question, the way it's worded, would actually be 11 feet.